So, PlayStation just announced a new game called Neo Berlin 2087, being built by Elysium Game Studio on Unreal Engine 5. A game that's sole purpose seems to be making everything reflective and gross, slow motion diving while shooting at robots, while at the same time bringing us a trailer that has more frame drops than Area 18 in Star Citizen on a 4090, I don't quite understand why this trailer exists. For those who aren't in the know, Neo Berlin was initially revealed in the summer of 2021 on the PlayStation YouTube channel, but it was called Shadow of Conspiracy Section 2, with a similar trailer that even now comparing the two looked better two years ago than it does now. Granted, two years ago it was being called a prototype similar to the Killzone 2 concept trailer that Sony showed off back in 2005. I, I guess we're still doing that, huh? Weirdly enough, the link to the PlayStation page for Neo Berlin Now shows the word concept in the URL. So we went from a prototype to a concept, downgraded the style, and here we are. Before we get into the meat and potatoes and my opinion of what we're seeing in this trailer, a word from our sponsor, me. If you're somebody who enjoys my content and wants to be a part of the community, join our Discord and get involved. We're starting to plan more gaming nights with channel members, movie nights, giveaways, and more. And if you want to support the content on a higher level, become a member for only 99 cents Canadian a month. This support goes towards making more content, live streaming, as well as supporting our game development journey with our first title, Transients. Wishlist the game on Steam today, become a member, get connected in Discord, and let's start building this channel to half a million subscribers. That's the next goal, and I can only get there with your help. Let's get back to Neo Berlin. So the trailer opens up to what I'm assuming is our protagonist investigating the death of somebody. He closes and opens his eyes to this AR style UI, which feels like it was pulled out of every cheesy sci-fi flick ever. It cuts to the player jumping over robots and diving in slow motion. The reflective surfaces in these shots is a abysmal to say the least. Everything just kind of blends together, the lighting is very mid, and everything just looks super metallic, as if it was covered in a 90s Capri Sun commercial. Very weird style, even compared to a game like Robocop, which I feel has a similar vibe, but clearly has a better design vision than Neo Berlin. Now, what is Neo Berlin? The key features on the website include an emotional main story consisting of heart-wrenching moral dilemmas and immersive investigations, unique gameplay built on a blend of first and third person, customizing your character's abilities and weapons for whatever playstyle you prefer, you can choose from a vast array of shooter stealth and role-playing game mechanics, breathtaking visuals powered by the cutting edge Unreal Engine 5, I don't, I don't know about all that, inspired by cyberpunk classics. You can explore a setting that you've never seen before. Berlin in the year 2087, a cyberpunk metropolis shielded by massive walls from its devastated surroundings where outcasts gather and malfunctioning machines roam the land. Now the concept is actually very unique. We don't see many games set in Berlin unless you're firing Thompson SMGs at Russians in World War II, so I'm actually pretty psyched about the concept and the setting. The gameplay itself needs to do a lot more to captivate me because diving, slow motion, and robots, those are all cool, but if that's all you have going for you, I can't see this being a game that I would spend $60 to $80 on. And who knows, this game may be a $10 to $25 indie game in which I could see there being a significant portion of people that could get excited for this concept, but I highly doubt that. Lots of explosions, lots of metal, lots of shrapnel, and that's just the scene of the 3090 rendering this trailer blowing up inside the intern's office at Elysium Game Studio. This scene here must be running at 15 FPS or lower. And hey look, this is a prototype, or, or a concept, or or a pre-alpha, I don't know. Point is, it's early, but at the same time, why even show it off in this state? Especially with how grim the gaming scene is becoming, people don't want to see garbage like this shown on the official PlayStation channels, and clearly, the comments echo my sentiment. The dislikes are piling up, the gamers aren't buying it, and it's a weird position for these developers to put themselves in. Why hurt your game this much before it's even really had a chance? It's not like you're looking for pre-orders, you're just putting out a shitty trailer for people to clearly judge for what? 
The Steam page says the game is coming out in 2024, so I am going to be keeping an eye on this to see how it develops in the future. But for now, this is simply an Unreal Engine 5 tech presentation that does a horrible job at showcasing Unreal Engine 5. As always, guys, my name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it. Subscribe for more content just like this. And I'll see you on the next one.